Okay, my video today is on uh, some potable water storage. Uh, I live in California, so uh, the need to have some water at uh, long-term water, um, whether it be because of earthquake or civil unrest or, or whatever. So um, the video you're about to see is just me uh, putting this together, uh, storage for these three 55-gallon uh, drums of water. Uh, so anyway, hope you enjoy it. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm doing a really quick project today, I'm making a, a stand to hold some 55 gallon uh, water drums uh, for drinking water. So this is basically comprised of some brown um, pressure treated uh, board. I got um, four, uh, four by four by two foot um, base sections. Um, and I cut those uh, to make up for the taper of the concrete in the side of my yard to make sure they're level. And then I have a four um, two by six uh, by six and a half footers. They're actually, you know, like inch and a half by five and three quarter. Uh, but I'm going to space those out along there. Um, I use it to support three 55 gallon uh, drums of water, um, drinking water. Um, and those are going to be like, say, 450, 500 pounds a piece. So, anyway, hoping this uh, womanized. Uh, pressure treated um, brown woods getting up last uh, quite a, quite a while, which is shit out here in California. So maybe the next step is uh, show it here. I'll screw it together and in place, uh, and then get my barrels uh, in the next uh, few days. Okay, so there's a the finished product. It's my own six foot six by twenty five inch uh, womanized pallet. So there's four uh, four by fours underneath, and again. I said I cut them at an angle as the concrete slanted, try to keep the barrels level uh, when they're uh, on the concrete. Okay, so it's in place here on the side of my house. I'm gonna position the barrels so I can uh, get, still get to that drain clean out right there. But it's uh, right below my kitchen window, so if I wanna pump some water out, I can pump it right through the window there into the house, into the kitchen. Um, still gives me enough room to get down the side of here. Uh, I have my air conditioning unit down here anyway. So, um, anyway, I think it's going to be a great place for them out of the sun. Uh, this doesn't really ever get direct sunlight ever. So keep them out of the sun. And then uh, cover the barrels up with something. And uh, have 150 gallons of water here ready. Okay. So uh, just picked up my three 55-gallon uh, drums. I also ordered a uh, 50 foot uh, hose uh, for drinking water. So I got these online at uh, Walmart and picked them up in store. Um, they're really super light. It's just, um, you know, of course, empty plastic barrels. So um, really light, not an issue moving around. So anyway, uh, I'm going to put them on my stand and uh, fill them up. Okay, there's uh, three barrels in place on my stand. And there's Hercules guarding the barrels of water. As you can see, just uh, use that uh, brown pressure treated board to keep them off the ground. So what I've read is just an interaction between uh, chemicals in the concrete and the water if they're on the ground. So I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, to be safe, I'm just going to lift them off the ground a bit. Then I'm going to make a cover to fit over them uh, to keep uh, UV off of them, just so the barrels don't break down and to keep the tops clean. So the next part is we're going to fill them up and then uh, put in the treatment to stop the water going off. Uh, I did buy uh, a set of 50 foot uh, clean water hose uh, to fill them up with. Okay, here's the Aquamura water treatment. Uh, the part A is uh, chlorine dioxide and B is phosphoric acid. Uh, it says it treats up to 60 gallons uh, of water, and I guess they're saying that the water will be good for five years. So I'm going to plan on keeping it in there that long before I uh, change it out. So um, the directions are uh, on the bottle, not on the uh, on the packaging. So uh, apparently you mix uh, parts A and B together first and, uh, and then treat the water. So I'm going to open it up now and take a look and see exactly um, what the directions are. Okay, here's part A and part B. Um, comes with a little decal that you can uh, put on the barrel when you treated it. <clears throat> so this is two ounces in each bottle. Um, it says for uh, 60 gallons of water that it's two ounces of part A and two ounces of part B. It does say that you mix them together 
ahead of time in a uh, cup or, a, or whatever measuring cup and let them sit for about five minutes so they can act um, act together uh, and then full activations after five minutes then it says to fill up the container of water completely to the 55 gallons and then pour it in um, you have to shake and stir um, the, uh, the mixture before then add it then you let it stand for 15 to 30 minutes depending on temperature if it's colder then you let it sit longer and after 30 minutes then the water um, is potable and you can drink it so that's what we're going to do next we'll uh, mix these together and go from there Okay, started filling up the first barrel. I'm gonna time it, see how long it takes to fill up uh, one barrel at uh, 55 gallons. Uh, then we'll add uh, the treatment and then go from there. So look, I bought a 50 foot uh, hose and not the 25 footer. I always thought that it was closer each of my spigots, but apparently not. So anyway, luckily the 50 footer just made it. Okay, one barrel's full, 55 gallons. Only took five minutes and 30 seconds, so I didn't know what I expected, but I expected it to take longer than five minutes. So first one's done, we're gonna treat it now, and then uh, fill up the next. Okay, uh, so we're gonna mix them. There's no security foil on the top of these, so part A, we shook it real good. We're gonna add part A. And we're gonna add part B. And we're gonna let them Mix them up here. And then it says it starts to turn off in color, so I can see it starting to turn yellow right now. Both were clear, so they're interacting. So let them set for five minutes, and we're going to dump them in. All right, one other thing I did, I just photo documented uh, the front and the back of, uh, of the um, packaging and the bottles so that if I want to reference them, you know, afterwards I can look you know, once I throw all this stuff away. So I think it's good just to photo document stuff so you have any questions about uh, what they say the specifications are, longevity. So I just recommend photo documenting this and keep it in your records. Okay, water storage is all done now. They're all full, all treated, all sealed up. So I'm going to just now get a make a cover for them. Um, but one thing I want to say is, uh, you know, some people may call this overkill. I live in the wacky state of California, so you know earthquakes or civil unrest or who knows. So I just think that it's good to have you know enough water for my four-person family for uh, at least a month or so, or if not longer, if we ration it. Um, so again, you never know what's going to happen. So better to be prepared and never have to use this stuff. So anyway, I uh, hope this was helpful, and uh, um, don't forget to like and subscribe or leave me a comment. And I look forward to bringing you another video again soon. Thanks for watching.